Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to do an invisible cast on for double knitting. This will define your colors at front and back at your cast on instead of having a combination of the two like this one. You have colors on two colors on the front, two colors on the back and if that's not what you want you want to define so that you can't see that the back or the front, then this is the cast on for you. Now you need to be familiar with Judy Becker's magic cast on because this is a variation of that and if you're not then please go over to my video and check that out and come back and we'll get you hooked up with this one. Now you need a set of needles one size larger than your gauge needles. You need your gauge needles and two strands of yarn. Now you take those two strands of yarn, both of them, and you put a slip knot in it. And put it on your needle. And begin to knit. Begin to cast on. Now my pattern calls for 26 stitches, but I'm only going to put 25 because these two count. And when I say 25, I mean 25 on both needles. Put 25 on this needle and 25 on this needle. So actually, my pattern calls for, what is it, 52? So I'm only going to put 50 on because these two will count. And I'll show you about that later. Now you want to try to be a little loose with this because you want to try to work, be able to work with it later and if it's on like a death grip then that's an issue. So now I have my stitches cast on and now I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to lock in that stitch. Now normally whenever you do this cast on and you're done with casting on you you want to take it and turn it over like this. But you want to go ahead and do that and then turn it over again to where you see the curl bumps. And lock in your lock in your stitch, your last stitch. And then turn it again. And grab your gauge needle and knit the first stitch off with whatever color it is. Knit that off, and then we'll bring this one up and make sure the red one is up as well. And you can see right there it's been locked in. And then you want to purl the back one off. Give them a little snug and take them both to the back. And then continue to knit the first one off 
with the color it is, bring them both to the front, and knit the back one off. Now because of the type of cast on this is, this back one is knit cast on backwards. So you want to knit or purl those through the back loop. Take them both to the back. And knit the front one off in the color it is. Both to the front. And purl that one. And just continue that. Just remember the front is the knit and the back is the purl. Just like normal knitting. And you always bring your yarn to the back or to the front for purling, right? So this should be fairly easy. Yarn is in the back for knitting. And now we want to treat, let's get rid of that needle. We want to treat this cast on, or this slip knot as if they were separate stitches. So we can see our last stitch here is a red one. We want the blue one. And the blue one has always been knit all the way through this cast on. So we're just going to knit it and pull it off. And now we're going to bring the yarn up to the front and purl the cast on red normally. And then put your larger needles away so that you don't mistake those. And there you have it. You've cast it on 25 or 52 stitches. Let's do row one. Now, you want to knit your colors as you see them. But you always want to bring both to the front or both to the back. And knit them. And I'll get detail with that in my how to double knit video. I've done a couple rows for you and wanted you to see the results. Your cast on is separated. Front and back. And you have done an invisible cast on. Now you can go on and do your pattern and stay tuned for my bind off that will match this. Happy knitting!